Are we done yet? How much did you pay that chatter? I bought them a Mickey Mouse cinnamon churro. I remember you. I got the lexicon. <laughs> Dental student. Probably just finished your first semester. Hope you did well on your finals. Star kicker for a Florida high school football team, if I remember correctly, there with your whole family. It was your birthday. Oh, I recall. I recall. Hang on, Magic Mike. Che part one, huh? How about Che? <laughs> Did he ever make part two? Um, okay, let's go Oceans 11 and let's see where you want to go from that. You did make a Che part two. How about that? How about some fucking mystic pizza, my bro? The Adjustment Bureau. Edge of Tomorrow. I thought that was Emily Blunt. I used to camp in the Trader Joe's north of Bellingham in hopes I would meet you. Don't, don't, I already know where we're going with this one. You got Tom Cruise banned. Never mind. I, uh, I'm not allowed to stop in Bellingham anymore ever since uh, Librarian made the Bellingham compilation and then it got posted on r slash Bellingham. People did not have the same sense of humor about it that I thought they would. It turns out some dude doing a job that you don't understand while everyone types in the chat, wow, you're so funny, uh, and gives him money. But meanwhile, he's just talking shit about the place where you chose to raise your family. They don't have the same kind of sense of humor about it that I did, for whatever reason. Um, invasion. This is a tough one for you. That's a tricky one. I don't know who this guy is, but it seems like he's a, if he's this obsessed with Bellingham, he's living a pretty sad life. I feel bad for him. I'm like, bro, just relax, okay? You got like nine mod pizzas there. You're living lavish. You got nothing to worry about. I, Think of all the cities I don't make fun of because we don't even stop in the dulls, okay? We don't stop in Walla Walla. We don't stop in Gig Harbor. We stop in Bellingham a couple times because it's more noteworthy. We learn a little bit about a little bit and then all of a sudden I'm the asshole for whatever reason. Just for poking fun. The evils of Lucy was all around me. Um, deep impact. Did you like the tweet? Kendrick Lamar, if he was a pirate, me port side just went viral. <laughs> it's, I thought of it. And then I said, um, don't tweet that, it's really dumb. And then I said, ah, whatever. And then I put down my phone and came back and it had like 2,200 likes. And I was like, sometimes you gotta, you gotta trust yourself. We go friends with money. Is Lucy worth a watch? No. Definitely not. Office space? Okay, we're back in the Gary Cole hole. It's crazy that Lucy is basically like Ghost in the Shell, but then also Scarlett Johansson made the Ghost in the Shell remake. Shanghai Noon? You know the play. I, I refuse to give you uh, access to Jackie Chan. I refuse the, the Jackie Chan invitation. This is the Chan declined. It does give tempo to our opponent because they get a potential Owen Wilson kill shot. Oh, well, <laughs> does this have Steve Coogan in it? Son of a gun. 
I really don't want to play Jackie Chan, bro. I really don't want to play Jackie Chan. Okay. Because then I played a mo Hang on. Plus 15 seconds. Who the fuck are any of these? Oh, no, Aiden Gillen is in The Dark Knight Rises. Nice try. Spooky. The wind that shakes the motherfucking barley? They're historicizing you in the group chat, bro. They're saying you're the wind that shakes the barley. Twenty-eight days later, sunshine me. We gotta get this. Oh, right, right, right. That makes perfect sense. Um, 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 yesterday me. We gotta mill these lifelines, bro. This guy's going sicko mode. Shallow grave. How about fucking millions, bro? What you know about millions? Two thousand four. Seventeen wins today is pretty wild, bro. I'm on. I'm on eighteen. Don't insult me. I know they're on seventy. You're basically saying like this person has no life. Okay, what does that say about me, my man? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy 05. Me port side just went viral. I don't know. I just thought it was. Thought it could be humorous. Okay, how about get k packs bro? I haven't even talked about, because I was gone for like seven days, right? I haven't talked about Kevin Spacey returning to his Christmas vlogs, but doing an interview with Tucker Carlson in character as Frank Underwood from House of Cards. He's being interviewed in character, but he's talking about like, his, he's alluding to his real controversies. Is so fucking, he's not respecting the rules of fiction. He's like Frank Underwood, but talking about Kevin Spacey. Like it's, it's some adaptation shit, bro. It's crazy. K-Pax, Kevin Spacey kill shot. Pay it for word. Maybe. He also killed like three of his accusers. Listen, it pains me to say this, but I respect the rule of law. They did die. And it is weird that three of them died before it got to trial. Hang on, let me look at my bands here. Tom Hanks not banned because we started from the other movie. Okay, give me a twister. It's suspicious. Yeah, it is. I would say it's sus. I'm not saying he didn't kill them. I'm just saying I don't believe that there's any proof that he killed them. If there is, he should run for fucking president then, right? Am I right? Three is too many to not be a... A conspiracy? Listen. We go Captain Phillips on this. Maybe people would say this is not funny to joke about, but I do like to think about Kevin Spacey being at home and then like one of his accusers dies and he's like, hang on, we gotta, is this Ron Howard? Splash me. Oh, that's uh, Apollo. No, you can't do, um, the Grinch. It's not Ron Howard, skip me. And then like when the second one died, he was like, oh fuck, people are gonna think I did this. And then the third one died and he's like, bro, I'm not, like I, he's crying, weeping at home. He's like, I'm cooked. Everyone's gonna think I did the murders. But if he did the murders, he was probably just, I don't know, like it's weird. He's still kind of like, I know the joke was made like five years ago. That's a classic mistake. 
a bunch of letters, a bunch of numbers. You can't, if you don't have a skip, you can't do a kill shot that you can't get out of unless you're desperate. But this is the, the Kevin Spacey joke, I guess, if people have a sense of humor about it, is like, because he's such a method actor, like him getting his show canceled before it ended, like he's just stuck as Frank Underwood. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry to bother you. Like he's going to be living as Frank Underwood for the rest of his life. No, 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 no. We don't want to do this. Get me out of here, bro. <laughs> Okay, that we can get out of this. We go Tilda Swinton or Jake Gyllenhaal. Give me Gyllenhaal and take my ass to the good girl. I'm gonna, we're, we're connecting neurons that have never been connected. They've been on separate paths and now we're, we're braiding them together. Demolition 2015. You're playing some seriously, uh, some crazy games here, my friend. You're playing some crazy games or crazy movies, I should say. Armageddon would be a great Minari play if it hadn't already been played. Take me to the Slam and Salmon. Kind of like the Minari of the Broken Lizard films. A little bit more quiet, a little more understated, more of like character work than, than something like Beer Fest or uh, Super Troopers, although Super Troopers, of course, kind of like the Reservoir Dogs of comedies. Lots of really interesting characters in that one. Good dialogue, leader of cola, shenanigans, etc., etc. The Island. Michael Clark Duncan kill shot. He is in a lot of movies. He's in the whole nine yards. This is where I want to be. Nobody says shit about the whole nine yards anymore, bro. This movie, you couldn't escape from this movie in the year 2000. What do you know about the whole nine yards, bro? You know more about Matthew Perry than I thought. Um, how about Scream? Is this the Nev Campbell joint? It is. Think I don't know Three to Tango? First time I ever saw a tuna melt was in Three to Tango. Defiance, 2008. Ray Donovan, the movie. My mom's favorite movie. X-Men Origins Wolverine, Bad Education. This person, I, I don't, I'm not sussing them. They should have more wins. They should have better than a two-third win-loss ratio. I bet they were going up against like Freddie Babe seven times in a row. They got two wins, five losses. That's my expectation for why they're a little under the stats you would expect. Hereditary, Muriel's Wedding, Please Don't Be From Australia. Oh, they don't know. They don't know Australia. You skip me on that? Bro, it's Tony Collette, my man. You could even probably just drop Australia on this bitch. <laughs> that works every time, man. Works every time. <laughs> if, they, if they made a movie called Canada, I'm sure it would have like every Canadian actor in it as well. What's this motherfucker's name? I don't want to go back that. No, don't, no, 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 no. Just stay. No, you got to do it. You got to do it. Okay, play um, Gran Torino. I don't really want to get Eastwooded. He's not. This is not him. He's not in The Beguiled. He, I thought maybe he directed. Oh, no, this is Sofia Coppola. Take me to Priscilla. 2023. That's right. I'm th was he, Clint Eastwood was the actor in the original The Beguiled? That seems right to me.
Isn't Gran Torino a racing game? That's Gran Torino A spec. We go again. My girl talking about my girl. My girl. Bro thinks I don't know Save 2004. You think I can't name five Macaulay Culkin movies? I'll do it right now. You knew Jenna Malone. Now that I'm very impressed by Jenna Malone. Am I crazy to think this has Laura Dern? I don't, maybe it doesn't have Laura. This certainly has Philip Seymour Hoffman. What if we went with like a, uh, a punch drunk love? I hate to do that, but apparently you need to be pretty uh, rigorous with your hyphens in this game. On cut yams. On cut yams. Okay, we'll, we'll side load you. I don't really want to go to the witch. I would rather go to Daybreakers. Willem Dafoe. Okay. Free cast lifeline. You never know what someone's blind spot's going to be. Maggie's plan 2016. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. Because I don't know it. Before sunset. You're going to leave me in a Richard Linklater hole? I don't think so. I, who do you think dug the bitch? Everybody wants some, bro. Two exclamation marks. Don't get it twisted. Slacker. That's the kill shot, unfortunately. We got to try something like Waking Life, but I'm going to guess you know it. You got another Lewis Black movie in you? Looking a little spicy. Oh, that is the wrong Lewis Black. You're right. You skip me on Waking Life? I'll take your ass to, um, we could go Keanu, but I'd rather hit you with like a, uh, okay, Winona Ryder's not in this one. <laughs> I'll hit you with a Keanu. How about something's gotta give? Excuse me? Oceans 11. I got mighty confused on that one. I was thinking, you're right, I was thinking of a scanner dorkly. Same animation mathematical calculation. Claire for Laney, we go to antitrust. Keep this movie's name in your damn mouth. Is it good? No. It's, it's not good. But it's from the first era where we hated Bill Gates because of his business ruthlessness. And then there was like 20 years where we were like, can you believe they made a movie where Tim Robbins played like a mean Bill Gates and now he's like a hero? And now we're kind of in like the we hate Bill Gates again era because he takes a lot of credits for his, well, this is why my friend hates him. He takes a lot of credit for making composting toilets that don't work very well. They don't, they don't work as well as other composting toilets, but a lot of people, mostly because he's a billionaire, I suppose. Or the, <laughs> I'm not getting into that, but <laughs> or because they think that he put an Xbox in everybody's COVID vaccine. But that's insane. My friend would be like, no, 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 don't worry about all that. That stuff, that's fake news. But the toilets, he keeps taking credit for the toilets and the toilets are not that good. Dog Star Man Part 1, Prelude Dog Star Man. What are we doing here? And the banks. Um, wait, hang on. Is this something? Bernie Sanders naming the members of G-Unit. 
The got Tony Yayo, 50 Cent is named after money. They have all the money and they have the banks. Lloyd Banks is, is part of, that's horrible, minus two. Not even any minus twos, just a lot of no's on that one. That's all three members of G-Unit that I can name, by the way. Are we there yet? Mm, I would rather take you to, to Torque. Young Buck. Forgot about Young Buck. Who is G-Unit? G-Unit is 50 Cent's rap group. The game was in there for like two weeks. Play Ghost of Mars on you again. I'll play Monster in Law. I thought he was a K pop star. That's G Dragon. He's a member of Big Bang. This one's for the Hustlers. Okay, Alicia Keys, I see you. How about Made in fucking Manhattan? D12. D12 has Eminem. And 11 other guys. Bizarre, okay. The dude with the hat. Obi Trice, Obi Trice was in that one. Proof! That's the one I could have actually named. Okay. These chicks don't even know the name of my band. Proof was the hat guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should not have played this. <laughs> Let's just play like the menu, bro. Get me out of get me out of here. There's actually only six guys, but they call it D12 because each of the guys has an evil version. Okay, see, I did not know that. So there's every, inside every man, there's another man. I didn't know you were cool like that, Eminem. Like Eminem and Slim Shady. Oh, like Tom Green and he, Tom Green's rap alter ego, who hates Tom Green. But then at the end of the album, they merge into one. I know what you're talking about. This game is making me miss Sap. Holy. Hang on. She's got to have it. The Inside Man, also known as Eminem. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, you have an Overwatch League badge next to your name. Summer of Sam, 1999. Her name is Kim Director. John Leguizamo, Jennifer Esposito. She's in The Master of Disguise. And Al Palagonia, the guy with the coats. Wayne's World. Okay. The Cat in the Hat, 2003. Turns out Alex is turtly enough for the Turtle Club. So I've married an ex-murderer. 1993. This is, a, this is the Mike Myers kill shot. It's a tough one. I need a cast on this. When they skip me. Phil Hartman is also in Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way. Please note that... Wait, 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 wait. UHF. Michael Richards. Mike, I didn't know Michael Richards was in So I Married an Axe Murderer. Now we've got that UHF connection where we couldn't get out of it before. I told you, we're combining neurons that had previously been on parallel paths destined never to meet. Inner space. That's fucking crazy, bro. Let me take you to frequency. I didn't expect you to hit me with an inner space. You didn't expect me to know Dennis Quaid. That's fine. The Long Griders. How about Inner Space 2? I'll be honest with you. I don't think I could name another Dennis Quaid movie. Firefighters? He's Meg Ryan. He's in the, in the cut. I'll skip you. I'm going to have to skip you. You might, you might have fought your way back into this one, you Quaid head. Dennis Quaid. Southern Comfort. Keith Carradine. Oh, son of a bitch. True Grit. 
True, grit. This sounds like a movie that would connect with Nashville. Wait, wait, Keith Carradine is, oh, no, oh, no, because Keith Carradine, I could have just gone to Kill Bill instead, but Keith Carradine is in Nashville. Okay, Keith Carradine is Bill in Kill Bill. Kill Bill, Emperor of the North. Fuck you. These shoes cost 300 fucking dollars. Emperor of the North, Gosford Park. Short cuts. Blow out. The Lion in the North in winter. Lion in the North is me, allegedly speaking. Emperor of the North. Keith Carradine, Easy Rider. Drugstore Cowboy. It's a mad, 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 mad world. Casablanca. Case 39, movie 43. All right, good game. <laughs> it's a good game. I don't rematch after a loss. Ain't nobody got time for that. We didn't go gentle into that good night. I'm like, Dennis Quaid might be like the most famous actor who's in the fewest movies I can name. Freaky Friday. Knives Out. He's in In Good Company. That's right. I know that now. Topher Grace. But come on. Oh, he is in The Day After Tomorrow. You're right. Jamie Lee. Chris Tucker introducing her at the Oscars. Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, just working on it. True Lies. Let's see. We just got to kill you with something. Who the hell else is in The Day After Tomorrow? Uh, Robert Duvall, Emmy Rossum, Jake Gyllenhaal, Jingle All the Way, UHF. That was pure luck. I forgot the Hartman connection we used earlier. They do have a Bluey reference in their username. Weird, the Al Yankovic story horns me. Guns Akimbo, Playmobil the movie, that's a plus one. The menu, okay, so we're going in reverse order now, I understand. It's the, the, the fines transposed. Bluey is just My Little Pony for people in their 20s. No, uh, you're not going to do Bluey think pieces pitting millennials and Gen Z against each other. It's a show for toddlers. It's not anything else. You don't need to devote any more text or kilobytes or paper to your thoughts. You can just keep them to yourself. I'll hit you with um, Stealing Beauty 1996. We go The Mummy Returns. I will say, though, this is, and I've asked this question before, are the bronies okay? What happened to the bronies? For the first five years of my career, 50% of people who replied to me on Twitter had brony avatars. And now it's actually like 0%. I, I go years without seeing them. Are they okay? I'm here, I just grew up. <laughs> you skip me on the mummy? On the mummy? The mummy, the curse of the dragon emperor? Dragon emperor. See, if I said one day you'll grow up and not be a brony, I would have had people come into my house to shoot me and kill me. But now you, as a brony, or an ex-brony, can say it, Make it make sense, bro. I could have been dead in 2013 if I just said what you typed so flippantly. The Poison Rose, 2019. 
the show ended in 2020. What do you want from them? I thought it was, I'm not even making a joke about it. I thought it was a way of life. Because whenever I made a joke about it, people were like, you can't joke about that. It's my way of life. Then the show ended and they just scattered. I took a lot of heat for my brony comments back then, bro. It was like a, an untouchable subject. Salt. Sky, oh, clutch pick Sky Captain in the world of tomorrow. You know what? I respect you, so we're going to go crank high voltage via Bai Ling. That's novel. The Meg, Sahara. You ever cranked that soldier boy? No. Um, I probably would have cranked that soldier boy if I was born in 1989, but I was born in 1988. So my freshman year song was Pump It by the Black Eyed Peas. Uh, 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 and then in private, it was the entirety of Sound of Silver by LCD Sound System. I remember my housemates were like leaders in, in their second year of university. They were leaders of uh, a freshman group, like for orientation. And the, all the kids that were probably like four months younger than me um, were obsessed with Crank That Soldier Boy. Uh, and I was like, uh, the kids, the, gen the next generation is ruined, man. They're ruined. Come over to our, our kegger and start playing dung, dung. Dun, 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 dun. And then my ass. You guys ever heard of Young Folks by Peter, Bjorn, and John? <whistles> and they're beating the shit out of me with like a Ziploc bag full of 9 volt batteries. Stop it. Stop it. It's my house. It's my house. Mm, John Cleese, huh? How about Tomorrow Never Dies? How about the world is not enough? There we go. Tea with Mussolini. I'm gonna fucking die, bro. Gosford Park? <laughs> no, okay. Maggie Smith was banned by my opponent. What? Okay, the Chronicles of Riddick. She plays like Empress fucking Quintalia or whatever. Triple X. Black Snake Moan. I can't believe you would ban Maggie Smith on me. That is real hater shit. You're obsessed with me. The Hateful Eight. Now this is a movie people should see. Changing Lanes is really good. Back at it again with Black Snake Moan. He does seven backflips and breaks the hot and fresh sign at the Krispy Kreme. I know what you're talking about. Muriel's Wedding. Sure, we play Australia. Moulin Rouge. Down with love. Dude got some sick air. He's obviously like an ex-gymnast or whatever. He was doing some great stuff. I mean, I'm just, I feel comfortable hitting you with train spotting too. I realize your ass is definitely from the British Isles because you thought to ban Maggie Smith. Yeah, here we are, Plunkett and McLean. What the fuck are we doing? Johnny Lee Miller, he's in Hackers. Let's get back to America. I don't want to get stuck in fucking Birminghamshire. Take me to Cleveland. Salt. Okay, smart play. We go deep impact. That's not Morgan Freeman. Fuck. Give me the changeling. What? Changeling? There we go. I'm going to give you a chance for a third X. Gran Torino. Oh, get me out of here, man. <laughs> Peter? 
Oh, you play Space Cowboys, maybe he'll have mercy and keep us in the 2000s. I'm scared. The mule. That's a smart play. Bradley Cooper's in this bitch? Okay, how about Maestro? They don't have it yet. It's Kino, bro. Okay, how about um, Michael Pena? Observe and report 2009. It's not Kino. It is if you sell cigarettes. Probably made up like half your budget, bro. How about Ant-Man? 2015. Forty-year-old virgin. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Power Rangers 2017 by Elizabeth Banks. Michael Pekka or Michael Pena? That depends. Do you need a dependable Selkie candidate uh, year after year, or do you need a guy to bring some comic relief to your movie? They're both good at what they do. It depends. I don't know why I became Christopher Walken temporarily. Do I really want it? You seem like you know your shit. Do I really want to take you to 27 Gresses? I guess I'm doing it. He's also a Scientologist. That's between him and his partner, okay? I'm not worried about all that stuff. How does he feel about Paul Simon's Graceland? Overrated? All right, we are canceling Michael Pena. We are going to call him Michael Penis from now on. Get hopped. Jump for my love. I didn't think you'd be Graceland pilled. Bro, it's a, it's a perfect album. Albums to look out the window of a bus to. Your ass banned Maggie Smith. You don't know shit about 27 dresses? Like, what are you talking about? Two, two what are three wins? Get me out of this bitch, bro. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Okay, stay, stay in ensemble pictures. It's the bot again. Shotgun stories with Michael Shannon. That's a problem. Um, shelter. Shelter, shelter, take shelter 2011. Where are you going with Michael Shannon? I know what you did last summer. Okay. Um, uh, Heartbreakers, Jennifer Love Hewitt. And John Debney, of course. I think this is like a, if you make it to 20, you win. The Spanish Prisoner featuring Ricky Jay. Okay, that's bad. Steve Martin's in this. I should know another Ricky Jay movie. Clark Gregg's in this. Okay, take me to the Avengers in the hopes that it stays mainstream. They, they cycled through 27 guesses. Call them Catherine Heigl. We'll go Phantasm Ravager. I don't know why I'm letting them get more obscure. Phantasm Oblivion. <laughs> Flight of the Living Dead with Heidi Marnhut. 30 Days of Night. Snakes on a Plane. Snakes on a train. Flight? You know what? It's got to be done. Boone the Bounty Hunter. Boone Avengers Endgame. <laughs> Gosford Park. Nashville. Um, I don't know. I spelled it wrong. Uh, give, give me some time. 2017. Canceled actors. John Cusack. Kevin Spacey. Uh, Nicolas Cage, not canceled, but did a lot of pictures he might regret. Bruce Willis. Um, Looper. Uh, Looper. John Travolta from Paris with Love. Uh, um, um, Nashville. <laughs> All right, you got me, you fucking robot. <clears throat> Opponent has left the battle. Cine to Nerdle mods. I don't, I don't flex my um, influence very often. We need to remove this bot from the game. They must be... I, I was going to say killed. 
I meant killed in the sense like pull its power cord, not like engage in murder. Mods, delete their system 32. You know what it reminds me of? I don't hate the programmer for making the bot. That's a fun exercise. I hate the programmer for releasing the bot into the production environment. It's like what happened to Reddit when like every Python class, lesson nine was like, now make a bot on Reddit that tells you the exact number of characters in your post. And then like it would reply like every 0.001 seconds and be like, hey, just so you know, there's exactly 132 characters in your post. And I would be like, brother, you're supposed to make it and test it and then fucking delete it, please. You're, you're ruining the website. People are more than capable of ruining it for themselves, but you're accelerating it in a big way. And then the dumbest people on the planet would be like, good bot. And you're like, brother, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what happened? The opponent has left the battle. Oh, cool. My post about how uh, I hate everyone over the age of 61 is a haiku. Good bot. I am very smart, by the way. What are you talking about, brother? We're on a fucking blue marble orbiting the sun, orbiting a black hole at the center of our galaxy. Huh. Look, there's a pattern in my comment. Hey, just so you know, you only every character in your post was only used one time. Wow! You don't know anybody in Knives Out, huh? You had to use your, no disrespect, you had to use your cast on Knives Out? What are we doing here? Yep, Captain America Civil War. Um, let's take you out of that. Let's take you to um, Munich, because I think you're fucked. Bro. Oh, Daniel Bruhl's not in that one, my mistake. Maybe I am the one who is fucked. NL is too good is their name. I thought they were just from Denmark and their name was Nils at first. Black Panther, okay. How about the Five Bloods? I could have sworn Bruel was in Munich. That's what I'm saying. Maybe I should have played like Valkyrie or something like that. He might have played like von Stauffenberg's aide. Because I knew Daniel Bruel before he was in Civil War. You skip me on that? I'll be honest with you. I think I have to use a cast. Let's try a cast on that one. Delroy Lindo, Jonathan Majors, okay. Jasper Pakkanen. I know where we're going here. We're going to um, Gone in 60 Seconds via Delroy Lindo. Oh, that's right. He plays Nicky Lauda. Of course I know him. The Duelist. 1977. He's in Goodbye Lenin. He's in, he's in lots of stuff. Rush is a great kill shot for Daniel Bruhl. Are you trolling, bro? The shit was directed by Ron Howard, and it has Thor in it. No disrespect. I'm not, I'm not offering any disrespect. I'm simply saying. I'm offering you the opportunity to Mystic Pizza yourself. Now! Zack Snyder's Justice League. Okay, I see where you're going here. Gahul. That's a plus two. Plus one, sorry, plus one. Draw, you can't drop a Sufi and Stevens reference by me. Mano Steel. Mano Steel. Okay, we hit you with a sucker punch. 2011. That's a lot of links, bro. Carla Gugino! Revar Dufresne! Revar Dufresne acted in 141 minutes of shit to free himself from Sucker Punch. You got out by a Marius DeVries? What are we doing here, brother? 
Um, to, uh, 30 minutes or less, 2011. No, he's not in that one. Okay, fair enough. Tenant. Sean Avery, the hockey player, the financier. <laughs> is he an Oppenheimer? He is an Oppenheimer. Holy bro. Is Sean Avery friends with, uh, with Christopher Nolan? Let's go Princess Diaries 1. Let's not let them know that there's a Princess Diaries 2. He's in a bunch of Nolan movies. I hate Sean Avery. Jay, I used to think that I liked Sean Avery. Because um, I was like, oh, he's just a troll. He bends the rules. And then like after he retired. Oh, that's a documentary. Sorry, my mistake. I need to think for a second. Let's go Eight-Legged Freaks. After he retired, I hated him more. Dude was posting videos about like someone parking their scooter in the bike lane and I don't know he just is like just strikes me as a supremely annoying individual not to mention the violence he enacted on the ice but he was simply a tool of the machine at that point so I tried not to hold it against him but it's when he was still a troll when he got out of hockey that I was like oh it wasn't an act this is just who he is Opponent has left the battle. It was a good game. It wasn't a bad game. <clears throat> what do we got? Oh, we got Jackbox coming up. Holy. Three hours flew by in the blink of an eye. Halloween. We go Starman. Not Dog Starman Part 1, nor the prequel. Dog Starman. Bluey game today. Bluey game today, bingo, or bandit? Bluey, the, the bl bandit needs its bluey. Who TF texted my dog? Ghosts of Mars. John Carpenter was banned by my opponent. Oh, you motherfucker, you knew, you knew what was coming. I should know Dan O'Bannon. All I'm thinking is, uh, wait, I, I, I do know Dan O'Bannon, but it's going to take a minute for my brain to jog my memory on what he's done. Dan O'Bannon. Thank you so much. Get Sigourney, bitch. Welcome to Cedar Rapids, courtesy of Ed Helms. Cold light of day. Okay, how about the fucking, the ice storm? I lived through ice storm 97. All I got was this t-shirt. If you answer this without a lifeline, we're going to die. This is bad. Billy Lynn's long halftime walk. The wedding banquet. See, this is a problem for me. I guess we'll see the, we'll say, um, um, Hero, House of Flying Daggers, Police Story, then we'll use a cast lifeline. In the Mood for Love, 2046, plus 15 seconds. Hmm, I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> Hong Kong? Made in Hong Kong? Uh, Rumble in the Bronx. I probably already played a good game. Good game. I did what I could. Honestly, you just, you, you led me to another part of the world I'm unfamiliar with. Ah, oh, you're right, I forgot movie 43. Alas, it is a Taiwanese film. Well, I can't name any Taiwan. If you name a Taiwanese film, I will tell you that I know it. Because I think there's four Taiwanese movies I know, but I can't 
recall them off the top of my head right now. Whoop, what have I done? I hit seven keys, Boys in the Hood, 1991. Eat, drink, man, woman, that is one. Snow dogs. Radio. Yee, yee, everyone's saying, but I don't think I know it, honestly. Boat trip. Road trip. As Horatio Sands in it. You get cast on road trip. Oh, did I did I beat your set play? American Pie, Sean William Scott. As much as I'd love to go goon for goon with you, you know what? I'll goon too, so that you goon. I'll go goon for goon with book nerd Bindi. They decided now you're just leaving me out here gooning alone like some kind of degenerate. Final Destination, Devin Sawa. That takes us to Slackers 2002. The Goon Denied. SLC Punk. Five Nights at Fucking Freddy's. They're playing quick, bro. <laughs> Hackers. I'm just thinking. Scooby Doo, Monsters Unleashed. Monsters Unleashed. They got it. I love you, Cine Nerdle. You got to go with a different search algorithm for the text. It's got to find things like verbatim for sure. That should be number one. But like there should be a contextual search after that, number two. Like on Netflix, when you type in a movie that they don't have, but they go, we know what you're talking about. Here's a movie that's kind of similar to that thing that you're looking for. Three to Tango. That's not Nev Campbell. Undercover Brother, it's Denise Richards. Excuse me? It's not Denise Richards. It's, it's Reese Witherspoon. I was thinking of wild things. <laughs> it's, uh, legally, uh, Sweet Home Alabama. There we go. Ooh. Leave them alone or join the devs? The fuck, bro? I don't know how to do it. I just know it would be nice if it's done. You don't like your food at a restaurant. You can say, hey, can I get something else? They don't say, why don't we give you a fucking skillet? That's not Reese Witherspoon? Okay, how about Legally Blonde too? They should though. You trying to make me Nicholas Holt myself? Recipe so bad he holted himself? Tenon bombs hold the royal. Sliding doors. Watch the Northman last night. If you have any opinions on that movie, I've not seen it, but it's on my list of Kino Cinema to see. How I know I'll like a movie, and I swear to you, I'm not just trying to be a snob. How I know I'll like a movie. It comes out 94 on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Audience score 43. I'm like, put that on the fucking list, bro. If critics love it and the audience says it's too long, I'm all about that. Unless it's, um, well, I was going to say unless it's the third Kingsman movie, but that was not loved by critics or audiences for good reason. We go to Poison Rose on this one. Fam K. Jansen. X-Men, other Famke Janssen movies that we, that we're not going to get a kill shot on this. Is she in Replicas? Okay, just checking. How about X-Men 2? X-Men United. United. Okay, how about Skip Me? I hate to use a skip on that. It was either skip or cast. I was just, why didn't I just type X-Men 3, bro? <laughs> X-Men, type any X-Men. Okay, X-Men first class. Motherfuckers don't know anything about Kevin Bacon, bro. Just checking. 
Oh man. It's like the third time this has happened. I can't find X2, bro. It doesn't exist even though it's the best one. Cast gives you five seconds. Yeah, but my ass doesn't need to know the fucking cast. You know, Mystic River. Is that my Barry Kyogen if he was Sean Penn in Mystic River? That's my daughter in there then. Hey, little feller 420. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Let's just pronounce Keegan. Okay, Keegan Keowen, if he was Sean Penn in Mystic River. Is that my daughter in there then? Um... Um, 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 I'm going to say high fidelity. Timothy Robbins. He's not Australian? Okay. It, Keegan Keoghan. If he was Sean Penn in Mystic River. Is that my daughter in there, Dan? Fine. Is that good enough? Right, we comedy by committee. It's all it's all coming together. We don't want Twenty One Jump Street. We want um, Ghost in the Shell, two thousand seventeen. He's Irish. Scarlett Johansson. under the skin. Good for her. Dunka. Da dunka dung. Sorry, someone said war dogs and I was thinking of T-Pain singing war pigs. Good game, good game. 26, 3, and 5 today. Pretty good. One of the losses was to a bot. I would say the other ones are pretty legitimate. One of the wins was to...